This program is designed to be listened by adults and therefore may be unsuitable for children under 17. been doing better, Brandon. This is good. <laughs> yeah. How's your sleep? It, it's alright. I, I guess. Good. Because last time you had trouble sleeping? N not anymore. I, I'm okay. Alright. Well, I'm happy to hear you say that, Brandon. <laughs> Clearly this is working, so let's keep going like that, okay? Same pills, same sleep schedule... Same everything. Okay. Dr. North is requested in Sector B. <sighs> Dr. North, Sector B. Already? Thank you. Okay, Brandon, that's all for us today. The nurses will bring you back to your room, okay? What? He's starting to freak out. Bring him to his room before he makes no. a scene. No, 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 no. It's okay, room. Brandon. Not it's been your room, room for the last two Not years. My name is Rose North. I'm a psychiatrist at the New Hope Estate. This is Jennifer from TV Life Lance? Friction and conflict Lance. Is escalating hmm? in the city. Oh, uh, hey. Why am I being sent in B? I'm supposed to stay in C. I don't know, Rose. I'm just a front desk guy. You know that. Sorry. Sorry, you're, you're right. Yes, Dr. Rikers? I have Dr. North here. D Dr. North? Rose North? Of course he doesn't remember my name. Okay. I haven't been here for very long, that's true, but yeah. <laughs> that's just rude. Yeah, all right, I'll let her know. A patient in Sector B wants to see you, Dr. North. He specifically asked for you. Hello? Yeah, sorry. Just... What? What do, what do you mean? I, uh, literally just told Who's you? the patient? Uh... Uh... Howard... Mr. Howard Connors. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I'll make my way to Sector B. Thank you, Lance. The crime rate has never been higher. <gasps> Fuck. Let's get out of here. It's dangerous. Yeah, God, this is so crazy. A patient requested me? Why? I've never been to Sector B. Well, maybe like once or twice, but that's just because I got lost. Not for patience. Sector B creeps me out. This is where they keep all the dangerous and the unstable. Murderers and all that. I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. <laughs> it's not you. It's it's just... Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I, I get that. But from what I've heard, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Wait until you meet our guest of honor. That bad? <laughs> that bad. Follow me. As we enter the patient's room, I can see him in the back. Handcuffed to a table. I heard a lot about Sector B and its patients, but seeing it with my own eyes now? I, I mean, the guy's a handcuff to the table. What the fuck? <clears throat> oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. You're on your 
phone now. Let me know how it goes, okay? Good luck. But I, I don't even know why I'm here. Okay. Hello? You're here. Hello, Mr. Connors. Please, please. Call me Howard. My name is... Dr. North. I know what your name is. I requested you. That is... Correct. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's so funny to me that I have to be the one to ask you to sit down. <clears throat> right. He terrifies me. I don't want to spend a second more with him than I have to. So, Mr. Howard? Dr. North. Call me Rose. <laughs> Rose. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Howard, but... Why am I here? Well, Rose, 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 Rose. <laughs> what do you know about the end of the world? I'm sorry? The end of times. What do you know about it? I'd say probably as much as anyone. Which means... <sighs> like, uh, the, the movie, 2012. That's the end of the world. Rose, do you view the world through a film? Do you laugh in the face of death? Of course not. I I'm sorry, I did not intend to upset you. Well, you did. Comparing the end of the world to a movie, you'll only wish it was a movie. Where are you going with this, Howard? The end of our time, Rose. <laughs> Is here. <laughs> it's here! <laughs> It's waiting for us. <sighs> what do you know about the gods? I try not to get into religion. No! No, 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 no! Not religion! Not this... This stupid concept created by mankind! I'm talking about the real gods! Enlighten me, Howard. The gods! are the saviors of our world. It's creators! And who wouldn't forever be grateful? After all, we have land to walk on, food to feast on, we have everything. And in return, they ask for only but one thing, to never forget them. To be grateful! <laughs> And, 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 and now, how do we do that? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. <laughs> Through sacrifices. And you believe that, Howard? Do I believe? Of course I do. I have been their servant my whole life. I, I listen to the gods and their request. I, I, I've given them my undying fidelity. I... <laughs> I'M THE PROTECTOR OF THIS WORLD! You made sacrifices. Yes! Yes, I did! <laughs> I did! Me! Every year, I've been the chosen one! The one with the duty of delivering the sacrifice to the gods! What sacrifices? Oh, humans, of course. <laughs> what else? Humans are the only ones who should be grateful. You... killed people? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you not know that already? Aren't you in the oh so twisted and sickened mind sector of the hospice? So, to prevent the end of the world, you had to kill innocent people. Hmm. Innocent. I, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. I, I don't do any research on them. After all, they have to die. Nonetheless, they have been chosen. Chosen? Well, yes. Chosen. You. Wait, you, you don't think you can just sacrifice anyone to the gods, do you, Rose? <laughs> oh my, Rose, people die every day! I am not familiar with their ways. The gods talk to me. They go through me. They speak the names to me. So no. No, it doesn't matter who they are. If they are... Innocent or not, as long as they die, 
You see where I'm going with this, don't you, Doctor? No. No, I don't. You! You must die! Doctor North, it is your destiny! <laughs> everyone I I heard screaming and I what the f hey hey hello it's pitch black we can't see a thing the power's out I slowly make my way towards the staircase next to the elevator I can't hear a single soul in the hospice not even Howard The silence is unbearable. I'm alone in the darkness, descending this set of stairs. There's no one at the front desk either. What is going on? You have to die. C Katrina, put that down. Katrina, put down the saw. Please. <laughs> She's chasing me. I don't know where to go. There's nowhere to go, Rose. Lance. You have to die. I'm begging you. Shut up! Stay still. Think of everyone. You psycho! Get her! Fucking kill her! She! She has to die! Can't I forever, Rose? Where do I go? Sector B. She's the stairs! You can't escape me, Rose! Come on, come on, where's my key card? Side now, is it, Rose? Like I said, not my call. Anyway, it's too late now. What? Hmm? <laughs> Don't you see? See what? Go take a look then. There's a window in Howard's room, it's covered by curtains. As I approach it, I see a bright orange light coming out from in between the curtains. I hear... Scream. 
screaming. the world burn together. Dr. Morse, the gods are taking back what is rightful of theirs. Because we are ungrateful sinners. against the unstoppable that is death itself. It does not care about how you feel. It does not care about a lot of things. Not even you. I haven't been completely honest with you, I'm afraid. I have many names. Thanatos. Hell. <laughs> the Grim Reaper! But you can call me... Death! 